Perfect. What's going on YouTube? This is 903 Fishing. Very excited to be out on the lake this morning. Guess what guys? We had the coolest morning that we've had so far. Uh, the low was 48 degrees. Now, Hannah, uh-oh, Hannah and I, you, you excited to be out here? I am. Guys, she hadn't been on the boat in a long time, but she heard that these fall crappie were starting to bite, so she decided to come out here with me this morning. And in this video, we're gonna show you a technique that is gonna catch these fall crappie for you. It's just gonna sling them in the boat over and over and over. So I hope you're ready to see that. So we're gonna go over our setups in this video, so be sure to be on the lookout for that. But this fall crappie of 2023, guys, is, is on, okay? We're in Texas. If this is your first time watching, we are in Texas. And these crappie are on shallow brush tops anywhere between, I would say about eight to 15 feet of water. But I do appreciate y'all for watching. If you haven't, smash that like button. It really helps out the channel. And if you're already subscribed to the channel, thank you so much. God bless you. Y'all know I would not be doing this without you guys if you haven't hit that subscribe button we're on the road to 75,000 subscribers on the channel you do not want to miss this giveaway at 75,000 we're gonna be giving away a couple ACC crappie sticks some slab city jigs a fishing trip with myself and it's just gonna be a great old time on a live show it is free to enter all you gotta do is be subscribed that giveaway video will come out and let you know what you need to do once we hit 75,000 you ready to get on some crappie I'm ready all right guys we're about to get on these crappie for you guys y'all stay tuned all right baby what can we do this morning with these crappie guys we know they're in their fall pattern by now like I mentioned in the intro, coolest morning we have had so far. That's not, that's not, oh, what you got going there? Oh my goodness, okay. All right, well guys, hey, she ain't been on the boat since May and look, first fish of the morning for her, about a 12 inch white. Let me see that, put it right here, up in there. Hey guys. Get out of town. Well, here we go. Let's go get another one. All right, guys. Hannah's actually put two in the boat trying to get me one of them capers. Another good. Oh. <laughs> that's a stud. All right. That's a good one. Uh, that's a big one. All right, guys. Well, uh oh. I'm on the board. Hey, I think I'm on the board. Yes, I am. You kidding me? It's a keeper all day. Just because yours is giant. Hey, guys, look at this crappie. Hold on one second. Mm. Hannah just caught a, sheesh, 13, maybe 13 or so. This is a keeper, too. She's tripping because that's a keep. That's 11, 11 and a half all day. You think? That's a keeper think all day. Than you think. Nope. No? Been doing this a while, honey. Been doing this a while, sweetheart. There you go, ten and a half. You said you eleven go. and a quarter. Put that in there for me. Thank you. All right, guys. Hannah's just catching the giants today, so per usual. I'm telling you guys, this slip cork technique right here, gonna put crappie in the boat for you in the fall. If you haven't tried it, you really need to try it out. It's gonna work for you. Kind of just that old school way of fishing. Throwing buoy markers over the brush tops, slip corking these live minnows. I mean, it's just a, it's a win-win. It's gonna catch, it's gonna catch fish for you. All right, guys, Hannah's caught three keepers. I've caught one. Four. You've caught four keepers? Okay, well, we have five more, like she's it. always gotta be right too, so. <laughs> well, don't you want me She to couldn't just go with three, you know? <laughs> couldn't just go with the three, but it's all good. Oh. Too far right, huh? For that, too far right. All right, guys, I'm gonna quit fishing and I'm just gonna film Hannah. It's gonna be the Hannah show today. It's all good. I think y'all like seeing her fish, so you know what? We'll be okay. It's a little keeper fish, probably about 11 incher, 11 and a half. 
Uhum. Good fish. What do we got here? Is this a... Oh. Oh! I'm on the board with a big one. Oh! Alright guys, I'm on a comeback mission. About a 12 and a half or so. And uh, not using the live well. Well, we are using the live well, but we're just putting these fish on ice today. So that's what's going to happen. All right, guys, let's go catch another one. What's going on, family? Let's take a break from the fishing action real quick, and let's go over the setup. This video is about the slip cork. If you want to catch more crappie in the fall, you're going to rig up this slip cork right here. And guess what? We have the seven foot one piece ACC crappie sticks right here. This is their newest rod released couple of months ago or so but I love this rod so far it may take over the number one spot from that eight footer now Hannah is using the eight foot super grip today but we also have the Viper X 500 from PC fun be sure to go to pcfun.com use code 903 fish 15 to save you 15 percent and the slip cork setup guys this slip cork setup is on the channel go to playlist how to playlist and how to rig a slip cork for crappie fishing is on the channel and this sucker right here is going to put more crappie in the boat for you this fall well we're about to get back to slaying these crappie y'all stay tuned it's almost like if you let it sit there you'll get bit oh my god i try, i i, I what i tell you i, I said thank you now. that's a keeper Ugh. i said thank me later Look like about 10 little 10 fish on this little top right here. It's not a big top, but it looked like there was a few that were stacked on it. Oh, there he is. Well, I thought that was him. Yep, there he is. Oh gosh. Ooh, we doubling. Hold on, we doubling now. Hold on now. Look at that one. <laughs> that's a that's a good fish. Guys, that's a good one. What you got over there? Oh, a little baby. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Dang, guys, look at that. Slip cork minnow. Can't beat it. His mouth. Oh, I know. That's a thick, that's a thick, healthy fish right there. Here you go. That is a good fish. All right, guys. I show this in almost every single one of my videos. I got a two-watt Eagle Claw Aberdeen crappie hook right here. And then we have live minnow okay minnows in my right hooks in my left we're going through the mouth out the gill that's facing you you're going to turn that hook and hook that minnow right in the top of the back that's how we're hooking them okay and then of course i like to pop that minnow back to me all right but let's see if there's another one there that didn't take long at all go right just right there yep there, there look like to be about 10 of them all right guys so i tell y'all all the time i'm gonna cast this minnow past the strike zone where i'm getting bit then i'm gonna pop and bring that minnow into that strike zone a lot of the times especially right now in the fall these crappie want to chase they want to go get that bait and that's exactly what we're you're giving them right now oh how your boy Oh, oh, that's gonna keep, huh? I think that's keeper. I'm gonna have to measure this one, guys. Ten inches in Texas, baby. Got to be ten inches. If that's ten, then he's he's pushing. I stand correct. That's ten and a half. What you got up there? Oh, a little guy. Here we go, guys. That's ten and a half. All right. Well, what'd you say, baby? That's ten. 10 in the well baby at the first spot now look guys we have fished a couple of different tops but we're in the same general area okay so we're just fishing these tops we're going to see how many more we can pull off we will be going to a few other places today to check it out so y'all stay tuned all right family well this first spot has pretty much died on us okay we got 10 keepers in the live well we're going to go to another spot 
that should be holding crappie right now in this fall pattern but like i mentioned in a previous video my lake right now is about three and a half almost four foot low so that's kind of tricky in determining you know exactly where you need to be fishing especially if these brush tops that are normally in 15 feet of water they're almost in about 11 to 12 feet so we're going to head to the next spot y'all stay tuned all right guys spot number two do we have any keeper fish in the building? Oh gosh. Well, oh, what do you think about that? That's keeper black. I think it's a keeper. Let's, let's check him out. Probably a good little Ten and a half or maybe all right guys let's see what, what he's looking like boom baby all right guys we're to our second spot our first fish off of it is a ten and a half inch black crappie and that's going to be a keeper 10 inches in texas baby where's a big old white tired right here you think mm -hmm. so oh well there you go yeah there's fish on them for sure Oh my gosh. What do you mean, man? Babe. Gosh. His weight is swinging oh, away. Oh, he reeled up too much. Slip cork and minnow, guys. If you're not using it, I don't know what you're doing. Let's see that one. That's a solid fish. I mean, that's not a giant, but that is solid 12, 12 and a half, probably. That's solid right there. Mm -hmm. Good fish. Okay, guys, we got, we actually have two brush tops here. Uh, we have one over here to the left. Hannah's fishing this one. I'm fishing the one to the right right now. And we've both caught keeper fish off of them. Now the one to the left over here that Hannah's fishing is a lot bigger than the one to the right over here. But typically I catch some bigger fish off of the smaller top. Right. Is that a crappie? I mean, oh my gosh, is that a black bait? Oh, he did not hit that like a crappie. I mean, that sucker, he just absolutely demolished it. Kind of like you said, that one that yours did. I mean, I, I thought that was a catfish. I thought that was a catfish. That's a keeper, huh? Yeah. All day. There you go. Dang. Dang, guys. I thought I had a, just caught a catfish a while ago, and I thought that was another catfish, but nice black crop that's 15 15 in the cooler guys or the live well i should say i'm telling y'all if you're not slip corking if you're not using this crappie fishing technique what are you doing we we're not using live scope okay no live scope on my boat so this is the way to go especially if you do not have live scope if you can't put that jig or minnow directly in front of that crappie this is the way to go right here. Slip corking live minnows, 100%. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay, we may be cooking here. What do you think? Close, huh? That might be a 10 and a half -er. Maybe, we'll see. Check him out real quick on the checker right at 10 oh okay i think we're back on the keeper board here white yes sir let's go all right let me see that one oh yeah that's a it's a 12 <laughs> it's a 12 inch guys all day all right guys that's 16. now i will i will tell you guys this our first five or six fish here that we caught were keepers now we're catching a lot of small fish so 
we're gonna see how many more keepers we can put in the live well but don't be surprised if you see us at a new spot there he is oh Dang, look at that black oh that's a good fish good fish still got that minnow all right guys well we're trying to get some more in the boat for you guys that's 11 inch right there 11 inch all day there he is all right guys 17 that's not a blue gill is that a copy? Yeah, yes. Oh. Okay. How's it going, people? Dang. Okay, guys. So we have two brush tops here. The one, the black crappie you just saw me catch was on the other brush top, but the bluegill on that one is just horrendous right now. So we've done switched over to this one, which is in deeper water, and just caught this one off of it. Hopefully there's some more where that came from. All right, guys, that's 18, I believe. 18, the goal is 30 today. We'll see if we can come close to that goal. Y'all stay tuned. Those minnows in the water. You see, what are y'all doing? Better run for your life. There he is. Hey, right, wait, wait, wait over here, babe. Oh, look at that black. Ooh, that's a solid fish. Solid. Come on, feisty guy. Hey, guys, no need to measure this fish. That sucker was way over here. Interesting. Well, this larger brush top is in about 18 feet of water. We're fishing about 12 to 13 foot deep on it, right over here in this area. So, cast more to the right of just a tad. Because you want to be down there. Uh-oh. There's another one. Uh-oh, babe. May have found him out here. Is that... Okay, I thought... Ooh, that, look how pretty that is. Look at that crappie, y'all. Hey, that's a big one. That's a big fish. Seven foot ACC. No problems, baby. No problem. That's a big fish. That is a good one. That's that's a 13 plus right there, guys. Good crappie. Wow. Well, maybe we're figuring them out here. 19. There he is. If that's a crappie, that's a big one. Good gosh. Mm. All right. Back on the board. Hey, babe, guess what? That's 20. Yep. We are at 2 0, guys. Hey, not a giant, but still a good little eater fish. Let's go, baby. That is, well, it says 21 now. I don't, something keeps happening. That's, if that should be 20. There he is. Oh, oh, look at that black. That's a keeper. May have found something out here. That's a good, that's a good black crop. Dude, look at him. Will not stop. Oh. Sorry guys, he's a feisty man. Look at that, I can't, oh, got him. Jeez. Now I'm gonna make sure. What is that, 10 and a half? Mm, yeah. About 10 and a half or so. Mm -hmm. Yep, 10 and a half. I'm not gonna click it this time. It should be 21 in there. Let's go get another one. These bluegill are atrocious.
Oh, there he is, guys. Seven foot ACC crappie six. Nice little 11 and a half inch right there. Nothing wrong with that. Let's go. All right, guys, let's go right on the side of this brush top. I don't went about 14 foot deep. I would say that's about where I am. About 14 foot. Let's see if we can catch a keeper out of it at this depth. This brush top is so big that you got to fish the side of it. If that's a crappie, then we're rolling. And it, oh, 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 that's a good one. There he is. Nice. You know what? That may be deeper. There you go, guys. Seven foot ACC, baby. Bringing him in. All right, guys, that's going to be. 23 I believe let's go there he is oh mm. is that gonna keep I think it is I think that's a keeper black crappie let's see what he's looking like ten and a half probably Yep, almost ten and a half. Let's roll. All right, guys, that's twenty-four. You know what? I, I said our goal was thirty for the day, but I think if I can catch one more here, get us to twenty-five for the day, I think we'll be good with that. All right, guys, can we catch the twenty-fifth right here? Can we catch the 25th before the tsunami hits? Uh-oh, there he is. Oh, oh, babe, oh. Now that's a solid black. Solid, I think. Probably 10 and a half. -er. Should be. 10 and a half. Boom, baby. All right, guys, guess what? That right there is a one-man limit on the ice let's go what's going on family well i could not convince hannah to let me stay any longer but we have 25 in the cooler we're going to go ahead and head back to the boat ramp let you see this nice little haul of fall crappie and we're probably going to end up giving these crappie away to some people at the floating barge that may or may not be in this video it probably will since i have someone to help me record the thing so y'all be sure to stick around for that as well right now is a great time to smash that like button if you haven't and also smash that subscribe button we're on the road to 75,000 subscribers you do not want to miss this massive massive giveaway they don't want to miss it do they nope. they don't want to miss it it's going to be awesome we're going to be giving away a ton of items on the channel on a live stream it's free guys all you got to do is smash that subscribe button come join the family we'll see y'all back at the ramp y'all stay tuned what's going on family we're back at the boat ramp and as always acc crappie sticks put in the work today seven foot one piece right here this is their newest rod on the website newly designed super grip handle i love this tacky feel light sensitive we flipped or i flipped all of my crappie today with this seven foot one piece so be sure to go to acc crappie pick you one up today and don't forget about pcfun.com use code 903 fish 15 save you 15 percent off of your order this black and green Viper X goes really well with this ACC crappie sticks. Black reel with the green accents. I love it on this ACC, it pairs really well. And don't forget about the slip cork setup. I'm gonna link how to rig this exact setup at the end of this video. Be sure to check that out. This setup right here is gonna put more crappie in the boat this fall. Check this out, guys. This is our haul for today. We actually had 26, okay? 26 crappie. We fished three spots. We caught crappie from three spots today. And these brush tops are in about 12 to 14 foot of water. Most of our fish were suspended anywhere from 10 to 12 feet or so. Hey guys, don't forget about drewcraft.com. Now I have these ionic lithium batteries right here, 12 volt, 100 amp hours. These two batteries power my whole boat. And we're talking cranking, two Helix 7 hummingbirds, and a 12 volt trolling motor spot lock at that so these suckers right here are awesome be sure to go to drewcraft.com 
Use code 903 fishing, depending on what size battery you buy, is gonna save you some money. Whew. Well, I'll tell you what. What'd you think, baby? It's good. Good day, wasn't it? Yeah. Hannah hadn't been out in the boat in a long time, so she was she's been very eager to get out here to do some crappie fishing, and I'm glad she came with me today. Like I mentioned earlier, we ended with a 26. And for those of y'all who don't know, the limits per person and all that good stuff in Texas is 25 per person and all got to be over 10 inches so we are well within our means today i'm telling you guys if you're not using that slip cork setup for these fall crappie i don't know what you're doing you need to try it out especially if you're not using live scope on your boat no live scope on my boat so that slip cork and minnow is a great way to get that live bait down there to these crappie and if you have it smash that like button for me i'd greatly appreciate it we are on the road to how many subscribers 75,000. 75,000 subscribers, guys. Once we hit 75,000, we're gonna have a massive giveaway on the channel. You do not wanna miss it. It is free to hit that subscribe button. So hit it, come join the family. And if you already are a part of the 903 Fishing family, thank you so much. God bless you. Y'all know I would not be doing this without you guys. Like always, like, comment, and subscribe to 903 Fishing. Y'all have a great day. God bless. But wait, there's more. Got Mr. Paul down here. How's it going, Mr. Paul? Yes. We're gonna give him a limit of Texas crappie today. He was down at the floating barge at the boulders. Said he caught a couple catfish? Yeah, a couple catfish. A couple catfish, well guess what? We're about to give him the filet mignon of the lake. Come on in. Let's fillet him up. Yes, sir. Three, there's three, four. Yeah, let's just do this easy. Yep. There's some bigger ones in the bottom there, but they're all keepers. They're all... Look at that. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Love it. All right, well, Mr. Paul, Thank I you, appreciate sir. you. You have a good day, yeah, sir. I'll give you a call because yes, I definitely sir. want to go out fishing with Sounds you. Sounds good. All right, cool. you have a good one, sir.